So here we are at the show and uh, this is really big one. Most of items like this uh, never set up on the exhibitions. And so this is a really nice collection and I love this display. Rare engraving on the rare hilt bayonet, so it's like a combo. Remember my friend Alex from Russia? Yes, I'm Alex. Yeah. I'm from Worcester. A very nice man. Uh, we know each other a couple of years now, something like that. Uh, probably since 15. That long? Yeah. Well, the time goes by yeah. so fast. You know? Well, you, it must be a little old because you have a little bit of gray in that beard. Yes, uh, yes, that yes. Beard, so since, you, since 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how have you enjoyed the show? Oh, that's a great show and uh, I found some interesting material. I can't find uh, so much like it was before. Yeah. Yeah, right. because it's not so much. Well, business has been so good. That, yes. Um, yes. I have a Same. problem uh, uh, trying to um, keep uh, rare bags because they just go immediately as soon as yeah. you get them. Uh, so it's hard to build an inventory up again. I, I remember the days where I'd have uh, six or eight government officials and five or six postals, and yeah, you know, but it's just not not today. I remember it too. Yeah, <laughs> some of them I bought. Yeah, yeah. I think they all wound up inside of your box. Yeah. <laughs> and off you went back to Russia with my daggers. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you did well with it. Yes. Yeah. I did. What did you uh, buy here that you might like to show us? Um, here I brought back two. I brought two swords. So I want to show you. What kind of swords are they? Um, one is a German officer sword. Uh -huh. It's a Saxony one, and with a history background. Uh, and um, the one is a. When he, when he says from Saxony, he's talking about the imperial time yeah. under the Kaiser. And as you collectors probably know, the uh, the imperial swords were beautifully made. And what you will see, because Alex will show you. I am dying to show you. Yeah. What else? What else? And the um, one admiral sword, I surprised that I found it here. And this is uh, admiral sword, um, Japanese imperial period. Oh. Um, end of 19th century. Well, we'd like Probably. to see these things. Yeah. Where are they? Over here. Right here. Ah, oh, just happened yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. What a surprise. What a so surprise. This one, is, yeah. this one is heavy, so it could be German. This is the Saxon sword. Yeah. Now let's show the, the people. When you see this star on the Langette, this means that it was part of a guard regiment, which was directly under the command of the Kaiser and kind of an elite troop. And then we look over here, and then we know right away when we see this, it looks like a beehive, I think. This is Saxony. So uh, the hilt, something that you don't see, the color of the grip is almost like it was when it was new. Most of the time, uh, uh, after a hundred years, over a hundred years, the grips uh, don't look like that. So somebody had this well, well stored. And uh, just for um, edification too, the Saxons used a green color. So I think this knot is probably original. Yes. You think it is? It definitely original. Definitely, okay. Here. So they, oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this, collectors. Oh, and look, look at the look at the uh, the spine on it too. Um, you can see, I hope, that um, uh, this is a um, a beautiful. We call this a band pattern damast, I think. How to say it in English? Band. Band. B a n d. Okay. Uh, I always describe it as if you've ever been to Atlantic City and bought a Turkish taffy mm -hmm. and when you pull the Turkish taffy apart it looks like that. <laughs> so what does this all say Alex? It's very impressive. You don't know. I know. <laughs> okay. You want me to say? Yeah, I wish you would. Yeah, collectors would be interested in it. This is a from one person to another person, from one officer to yeah. another officer. Um, yeah. 
when he retired in uh, Saxony, infantry regiment number number 107. Well, so if, you, the, if you look up 107, you, you should find that that was a, uh, yes. a guard regiment. Yeah, and uh, exactly that guy uh, has been awarded by highest uh, rank award in Saxony. And um, I will film video about uh, this sword because I have a lot of information. It's a um, full file of papers and uh, yeah, and proofs. So, What's on the reverse of the blade? The reverse of ah, the blade, you can see it. Yeah, beautiful panel. You see Hectomast and Eisenhower. When you see when you see the word Eisenhower, that's not President Dwight D. Eisenhower. That was the word the Germans used for the best of steel. Yeah. And you'll see that a lot on Imperial swords. For some reason, you don't see it on uh, Third Reich swords. I don't know why. But, uh, and then the maker mark is interesting too. Is not, yeah. Yeah, who was the maker on this sword? Walt Cleve Zollinger. And um, also we can see here on the... Oh, on the, oh yeah, on the line gap. Yeah. yeah, it's, uh, it's also stamped. Yeah, but look at the look at the beautiful damask and the and the uh, the quill back is just really uh, really sensational. And what what also is nice about this, um, we see a lot of um, nickel scabbards and um, imperial swords, but rarely do we see one in, in this condition. So I know with looking at the grip. Looking at this, that somebody put this away in a blanket or something for many years. So uh, uh, I think that's a wonderful uh, sword. Thank you. It's um, it's probably worth coming all the way over from Russia just to get that. But I know you got a lot of other things too. Yeah, actually, this one goes to Europe. Goes to Europe. Yes, back back to Europe. Well, it's yeah. going home. Then. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, now Alex wants to show us the second sword uh, that he's purchased here at the show. And uh, I don't recognize this immediately. What what kind of a sword? Is it Japanese? This is Japanese sword, uh, General uh, Admiral Rank. Japanese Navy sword. So uh, it's a naval sword. Yes. Yeah. That, uh, this, uh, this type, it was uh, end of uh, 19th century and uh, probably until uh, the Russo-Japanese -Russo War. Ah, yeah. 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 And uh, I, I will um, explain. What was that, 1906? Uh, like Russo-Japanese War one 1904 1905 okay. yeah. and um, admiral is a uh, high rank and uh, this well, there very... is no higher that's it <laughs> yes and this one is uh, very very beautiful finishing here all details are um, has um, handmade yeah. finishing yeah. yes and uh, burnishing on the yeah. flowers burnishing on I see we have the little I call them chrysanthemums but everybody says that's not what they are but uh, they look like chrysanthemums to me that was yeah. the emblem of the Japanese imperial family yeah and um, beautiful leather on it too yeah, yeah. nobody that's, that's amazing nobody did it after, after over a hundred years and look the grain is still there and there's no hits anywhere it's uh, really really nice uh, and it's, and it's very important and uh, every, uh, I don't know how to say it correctly, but borders of details are burnishing also. I call this kind of a, like a scallop. Scallop. Scallop, yeah. 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 It's nice. And what we can see here, this uh, part, yeah. uh, this symbol, it calls like, um, it, it says that it's general rank. Uh, oh, I see. So, so we can... So how, how did you know this was a general rank? You recognize the flower? Or uh, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Admiral. Um, or oh, Admiral, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I call admirals, generals, yeah, <laughs> often yeah. too, sorry. Uh, but, uh, That's this right, one... I'm not offended. <laughs> But here, um, we can see in the books, uh, yeah. recognizing, yeah. Yeah. so if you open it, you will be surprised twice. Yeah. Yes, because... Surprise the first time you can't get it out. That's the oh, first surprise. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This one also goes to Europe. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here we can see special uh, type of blade. This is a traditional type of blade. We can see this shape. A little, little fuller here. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, shape, the same style, like uh, oldest yeah. um, 
Japanese sword. I six, see it has like a, like a temper line too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and temper line is the second part because yeah. it's original temper line. Yes. And uh, in um, on the sword, this kind of sword, uh, we can't see original temper line very often. So uh, it's well made, like uh, like not tradition. Uh, Extra here. cost. Or... Yeah, th this one is traditional made with with a special sh shape of uh, this part of blade. That's so, very beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. The condition is extraordinary. Yeah, it's really museum piece. I, I, this is the best piece I found uh, on this show. I proud myself. I found it, and uh, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Also. I like it. Um, just. Generally, what is something like that worth? I have no idea. Oh, no, there, is a, an yes. sport, so. there is a yes. There is different prices for it. If it will be just regular uh, officer, yeah. ordinary officer, it costs maybe around five, uh, eight thousand. But this one is uh, wow. so for, for me. For me, it's priceless. It's so worth what somebody would pay for. Yes, yeah. because it's uh, it has several uh, things yeah. in every detail. Like yeah. it's uh, very high quality handle with uh, admiral and, and it's one of a kind. Yeah, so yeah, so that's unique. Yeah. So you you keep that yourself, maybe? Unfortunately, not because <laughs> because it's. Uh, Guys ask me to find some items, and uh, sometimes I find it. Uh, oh, you were buying yes. it for somebody else. Yes, and yeah. sometimes I, I buy from from you yeah. to yeah, yeah. to send it to somebody else just for. Yeah, yeah. you know, like is there a collector's agent? Uh, An adjective? No, like like agent when when, when somebody asks. Uh, oh, agent. Agent. You're the agent for. A for some people, yeah, yeah. and um, I'm trying to do video blog also for. Uh, the, the telephone business. Well, if, uh, if you do a good job as their agent, <laughs> then you'll find out you can become the agent for many people. And yeah. That's a good thing, you know? Like you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you was uh, probably, you was uh, in, you involved uh, a lot of people uh, to to the hobby. I do, af yeah. af after, after you wrote your books. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Now, now with the videos that uh, we're doing, uh, I keep getting people come up and say, "Oh, you, Mr. Whitman?" I say, "Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Whitman." Oh, you're so small. They say. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a big man. I said, "Well, on the television set, I might look big, but no, I'm a little man." <laughs> you get it. It's funny, you know. Yeah, that's uh, true. <laughs> This fun. But, uh, it's um, it's kind of neat to uh, to come to a show and and I get so many people that just come over because oh I saw you on the video oh, I saw you I want to shake your hand and, and it's nice you know yes. it, it makes you feel like you're really starting to become yeah. a community you know yes yes I agree and many many people have told me that. Um, they watch my videos and they start collecting yeah. just because of that. And I'm sure with you too, you find yeah, the same true. thing. Uh, the same thing. Uh, when the when the general audience sees these videos and they can sense that you're an honest man, I'm an honest man, we're trying to help the collecting community, and that's what they're looking for. Yeah. You know, because they're they're always afraid to deal with somebody they don't know. So yeah. they know us. So they think it's a, a good thing, yeah. and it is a good thing. And and we can show our knowledge, and uh, yeah. it's very important also. So. Well, um, yeah. uh, and I, I and I really appreciate uh, every viewer, every subscriber who leave uh, under video and here in uh, yeah. in the show uh, feedback. feedback uh, because yeah. it's it's uh, well, really it helps you. yes, it helps you yes. Do. If there's something you're not doing right, they'll yes. tell you about it. All will they tell you about yeah. it, and then you can improve. So. Yes. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to do. So if you have stuff that you think, ah, we're all uh, stupid or we're doing the wrong thing, tell us about it and we'll try to make it right. You know? yeah. We, we want to entertain you, but at the same time, we really want to teach you something. Yes. Too, you can. And it's like a saying, uh, like, true in discuss. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Inside right. discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're always glad to see you. Yeah. And, uh, I hope you'll come and... Uh, Visit my house. 
Oh, I and, would like uh, to come. And, and we sit down at the bar, and uh, uh, you can only have two beers, because that's all you ever drink. <laughs> two beers, two Heineken. <laughs> and a little bit. A uh, little bit of your, vodka. Your style uh, bourbon cold. Bur oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So, I'm glad you had a good shot. Because I'm every time I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that's what it can, is. You yeah. can drink a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a few hours for the show, and um, I would like to try to find something else in the last call deals. Will you do the same? The, way, the end of the show is when all the deals are. <laughs> I like tomorrow, uh -huh. when they're packing up, there's still a lot of guys, if they're still here tomorrow, then you can really make some good deals. <laughs> Sunday morning, right after church. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, good enough. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. You're a good friend. Thank you, too. Thank you, uh, watching your uh, channel for about two years now. Yeah, I caught your last episode. You were at a hotel, but yes. you were coming to the show yes. just last week. Or yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I, I really appreciate your videos, man. I enjoy. Oh no, no problem, man. No problem. You and Whitman always like. Yeah, yeah, I watch the videos. I watch all of them. Thank you. Very Thank much. you so much. Enjoy your show. Thank you. you too. Here on the show we can see a lot of swords, a lot of uh, Hitler used knife, uh, first model Luftwaffe daggers and uh, fireman daggers. I bought, <laughs> you didn't know, uh, I guess uh, I bought 300 of them, full collection of uh, fireman dagger. I will show you uh, it a little bit later. And here we can see SS daggers, uh, model 1933 and model 1936 uh, chained and uh, one without chain. So, and few swords, few dagons we also uh, can see here. And um, you see similar design, but uh, this one is for SS officer with uh, this type of cap. And this one uh, is um, same style, but this one is police. Uh, you can see difference just because of uh, here you can see different insignia. This model has not uh, insignia uh, on the handle, but uh, here on the top you can see SS runes. Uh, if you can't see SS runes, it's just a regular uh, digging for uh, police uh, scabbard. Also different officers scabbard, uh, SS and police uh, digging has uh, this detail and uh, like a triple blade and um, NCO uh, has just this tail, uh, type of tail um, on the end of the scabbard. And it's easy to say uh, officers or uh, NCO digging in front of you when you just see tip of uh, scabbard or the uh, handle. Interesting things and this one is SS also and this one has no SS insignia, pommel is plain uh, and uh, door we can see here so it's a regular police one and it costs uh, much cheaper so you can see 825 uh, bucks here on the market. Also you can see the fluff stuff is uh, uh, the fluff of sword model 1935 1250 and um, nice shape, uh, nice leather you can see here. And it's very important when you see original hanger because you can just remove and um, put it back uh, because it's like, stitched uh, to, to the scabbard and uh, it should stay here. And if you have no uh, this um, detail, this very important detail, it looks like if you have no maybe ring or just a detail of scabbard for me, uh, in my opinion. So it's very important that uh, sword has uh, this hand. And now show is finished, uh, it's over and uh, we have just a few last deals. So I just bought um, the fireman bayonet with uh, inscription, with description inscription I guess and um, some portables so uh, this is a final deals uh, we had a few days full of uh, military antique stuff and it was really nice and it was really good show uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I waiting for your comments under this video uh, thank you for watching until the end uh, thank you for subscribing and press like under this video see you real soon and goodbye, and good luck.